how much better it is? Yeah. James is definitely yeah, the one uh, that goes to the gym and goes, Rah! Yeah. He does. Just and he look then he looks around and if there's no chicks, he stops. He looks in the mirror. Yeah, he's like, Bleh. yeah. 240. Yeah. Yeah. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Next Drift. If you've seen any of our previous videos, you may notice that the view from up here on the tower is a little bit different. Uh, that's because we uh, finally got my 35-foot uh, charter boat, the Sea Fever, out on the water. And uh, we're going to do the first shakedown trip of the year. Uh, put a brand new 2021 Mercury engine in it, uh, some new electronics, and um, I'm so excited to have this thing in the water. She's a beautiful down east style boat. It's extremely stable. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Tons of room. Um, you know, it was a big project. And coming up here in a uh, future video, we'll do a little walkthrough and a tour and show you what we did to this thing. Um, but uh, it's just great to be out. We had a perfect day. On this trip, we had my buddy James, the infamous Joey, our buddy Tim, and myself, Justin. And, um, you know... Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of different trips with this boat. We're going to head out to the ranger grounds and catch some tuna, probably go shark fishing. Uh, we'll spend a lot of time out here on the race. We're going to go to Montauk and Block for Fluke. So this boat's going to get a bunch of time on it. And, um, you know, we're just all excited. Um, it was a lot of work, but uh, well worth it. So as always, if you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to share, too. This way, Joey. I'll grab the line. Here, I, you want to keep this, or what do you want to do? Oh, shit. Huh? Let's see what it looks like. I'll keep it. It's a good one. Striper. Oh, striper. Striper. Yeah. Bring that. It's not a keeper. Uh, you gonna be able to pull the line in? Yep. Oh, striper. Oh, striper. Not a keeper. Go back to yield now, huh? James, right. James is trying to find any way to get that diamond jig out of his hands. Yeah. <laughs> the one that works out the most. <laughs> yeah, he's the one huffing and puffing. Yeah. Like I heard, uh, we got squid here. I heard there's sea bass down there. I did ask the squid earlier. Yeah, I well, the stripers are around, James. What? The stripers are around. Yeah, I'm about to drop down the yield. Oh, they got a striper. See over there? They got, they got a nice one, too. Uh, yeah, he's got a nice one. Don't tell James that. They got a nice striper? They yeah, over there. That little boat, see? On a diamond jig. So we're fishing out here on a place called The Race. And basically what it is, is a... Uh, a big shoal, a big reef that uh, comes up. It's an it's an underwater mountain, really. Um, and on one side, it comes uh, goes down to about 300 feet deep, and then up on the very top of the reef, uh, it's about uh, 20, 19 to 20 feet deep. Uh, and then it drops back off on the other side, goes uh, out to 90 feet, and then 100, 200, and so on and so forth. So. When you have the uh, tide coming in or out, it forces the water up over that hill and it creates a big rush of current and the fish will feed um, on both sides of the rip. And uh, so you know, with that high current, you, uh, you, know, you need some pretty heavy weight. So if you're going to drag an eel out here or a piece of bait, you know, sometimes we're using weights that are 14, 15, 16 ounces. Um, same with a diamond jig, uh, you know. 12, 14, 16 ounces of weight to get it to the bottom uh, is, is what we end up having to use a lot of times. On this trip, we, we didn't catch the tide perfectly. Um, we kind of caught the slack end of it, um, of the incoming. So we didn't need to use huge weight. We were using 10s and 12s, really, uh, for the most part. And, um, you know, so you'll see a lot of the guys, too. It's called a diamond jig, and it's just kind of named wrong, I think. Um, it should be called, it should be called instead of diamond jigging, diamond winding, because the, the real way that you should be fishing a diamond jig 
is to let it hit the bottom, crank it up as fast as you can, 10 or 15 cranks, and let it go back down to the bottom. And what that does is the diamond jig is designed, it's not like a butterfly jig, where you can actually pull on it, you know, uh, and, and actually jig it with the rod, and then it will fall and wobble. Um, a diamond jig is designed to flutter on the way up and then kind of fall sporadically and erratically, um, and uh, and then you know it hits the bottom, it comes darting back up through the fish, and that's what triggers them to eat it. So you'll see the guys really cranking on these things uh, while we're out diamond jigging. But uh, as always, I always like to tell people, it's not diamond jigging, it's diamond winding. So you'll see him doing that a lot. Swing over a little bit. James, reel it right through the guides. Reel it into the reel. <laughs> One of the things about fishing out here in the race is that you cannot be bothered by people fishing close to you. It's just one of those things. The schools of fish are really tight. Everyone knows it. Uh, but for the most part, everyone really uh, respects each other's space. And uh, we're all out here for the same thing, you know. So it's kind of one of those deals out here, you know. You're just uh, you're going to be fishing around people. And, you know, it's kind of fun. It's fun watching everybody catch them. So it's just something you have to be uh, be willing to uh, to deal with. Good. Good for you. You can't fish anymore. <laughs> what did I say? He's, he's back on Team Fluke. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was off for a second. Well, you're only off. You're only off because. Oh, no. That's all right. I'm not worried about it. Hold on, we got a fish on here. Fish on. Uh, Let me uh, hold on a second, Hunt. It looks like a decent one too, no? I'm not sure, hold on. What do you got? Something? He's not moving though, he's not taking any line. <laughs> Swing him over this way, come, come to your left a little. There you go. Okay, Joey, keep an eye on that boat. I don't want to hit it. Dude, Tim, Tim is definitely on my clue team. 100%. Oh my god. Oh serious? my god, after all that. <laughs> Don't that worry. Felt like a fish. That, that made next drift. Yeah, put him on, put him on the fluke team now. Uh, you're off the fluke team. You're off the fluke team. Don't record that. Cancel that recording. And that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Next Drift. You know, the fishing wasn't exactly what we had hoped it would be, but it was really nice to be out on the water and uh, get to go out on the sea fever for the first time together. It was a lot of fun, and uh, we've got a lot of really cool trips coming up and some future videos here uh, real soon. So, um, as always, if you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to share, too. Our uh, YouTube channel is growing, and that's thanks to you. So, we'll see you real soon. Take care, everybody. Thanks again for watching.